In today's video, news came to light how a former Los Angeles County Sheriff deputy recently got sentenced to prison. It was November 3rd, 2021 in Southgate, California. At the time, LA County Sheriff Deputy Ricardo Castro was off duty when he decided to drive at speeds nearing 95 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour school zone as he approached the busy intersection of Firestone Boulevard and San Juan Avenue. What doesn't make sense is how someone who received training to uphold the law and did emergency vehicle operation training at the academy can be so reckless and drive irresponsibly that he ended up tragically injuring and killing 12-year-old Isaiah Suarez Rodriguez and also injure Isaiah's older sister. Not even surprising was the fact that Ricardo Castro had a driving record where he was involved in multiple car accidents. He also had several traffic tickets, more so speeding. Before this tragic ordeal, three months prior, Ricardo Castro was involved in yet another fatal accident. Now, usually when someone decides to apply for a job in law enforcement, part of the application process and background check is an applicant's driving record. How on earth did Ricardo Castro still manage to be hired as a deputy? Maybe the LA Sheriff's Department needs adjustment made regarding their application process. To go into further details, Castro was in his Ford pickup truck when he collided with the victims, Isaiah, as his older sister, was driving the process of making a left turn. This might be a reach, but because the agency he worked for may or may not have been aware of Castro's background, maybe Castro felt it would be just another collision, not realizing repeating the same mistakes would catch up to him. This isn't just a problem in LA County. Oftentimes, across the country, we hear about officers who have been arrested for crimes like driving under the influence yet somehow still manage to keep their jobs. Why is that? Is it police culture? The us versus them motto? Even though the incident happened in November 2021, Castro was not charged until February 2023 with one count of murder, vehicular manslaughter, and reckless driving causing great bodily injury. At the beginning of September, Castro pleaded no contest of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence. Castro had to give up his peace officer certification, meaning he could not be a cop no more, even though tragically it took something of this nature to be a wake up call that this guy should have never been a cop, nor should he have been able to continue to be a cop when he racked up different traffic violations on his record. Ultimately, Ricardo Castro was sentenced to six years in prison. Had Ricardo just been your average Joe, then he'd probably get more jail time but at least he has to answer to his mistakes from a six-year prison sentence. Then again, he'll probably be out within two to three years, unfortunately, and will more than likely be at a low-level prison or in protective custody away from the general population.